Hey everybody, welcome back to Final Cut Friday. This is Will from the Think Different Podcast. Quick episode today. We've already gone through a lot of things, including favorites, including selecting items. We've done a lot of stuff here uh, already. If you haven't checked it out, please go back to our other episodes. But now it's time just to create a project, and we're going to make this a very simple one today. So we're going to start a brand new project. Now there's a few ways you can do this. So first off, My timeline, let's say, technically is not here. I could always lower that to get that out of the way. Uh, My favorite way to start this always is using our command keys. Uh, So I'm going to make a new project by doing command and n. Command n is a shortcut to get to the project name. Now, I could also do this by showing our timeline and hitting new project here as well. I can also go to file, new project, but of course, the command key is right there. So we're just going to do it my way with the uh, command N key. And I'm going to call this Sweet 16 Video. Okay. Now, a couple things about this area is, number one, it wants to store it. Where do you want to keep it? Because projects in libraries can be stored in different events. In this case, there's two here. There's actually one with nothing in it and one with a Sweet 16. So if you do have multiple events and you want to put the project in the correct event. You want to choose it right here. Starting time code, I'm assuming everybody's going to want to do that. I would not mess with that because if you're not familiar with what time code is yet, we'll talk a little bit about it. But then we have something called custom settings, which then opens up what video, render, and audio you want it to be. So in this case, it's going to choose what quality or output you want your video to be. Now, if you do automatic settings, how this works is it, whatever clip is brought in first is going to be the default settings. So, for example, if you have 4K video and then you also have 1080 video, you have different format qualities, well, then that's going to change a lot of things. So, you want to always go with the first clip. So, I'm going to hit OK. There's an empty timeline down here. And all I'm going to do is go through my favorites. So I already have that selected here under my smart collections. Here are the favorites. And I'm going to bring a clip down. Now, there's a lot of ways to do this. I'm going to start with the easiest, obviously, most people can do is just drag it down. And in the timeline, it goes. We can do that for this next clip right here. Now, we can also do this a little bit quicker. So here's the next clip. Instead of dragging it, I'm going to hit the letter E. Think of the letter E for end. Whatever you are in the timeline, E will put it directly after the last clip. So let's hit E. And as you can see down here, it put it at the end of the clip. So even if I'm, my cursor is all the way at the beginning and I take my next clip and I hit E, it defaults it to the last clip inside the timeline. Very quick, very easy. That's why favorites are extremely important because then you can put everything in order. Now, there's another way to do this uh, and put them down the timeline. Now, what if this clip belongs in between these two clips? Well, I can't hit E for end because it's going to put it at the end no matter what I do. So I'm going to undo that, Command-Z, and I could just drag it. Kind of makes room for it, but as you can see, it could be a little difficult. Uh, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my playhead, and because it's magnetically attaching to the clip, so I don't have to guess, let's say right here is where I want to put it. I'm going to use the letter W. Now, if you look on your keyboard, E and W are right next to each other, so obviously Final Cut makes this easy, so you know the difference. So W will put it right there at that point. So very easy. So I'm going to undo that again just so you can see it. Click the clip. Make sure your playhead is where you want it to be. W, and it puts it right in the middle there. We could talk about another one if I was to select this, and I'm going to select another clip in here. So I'm going to go out of my favorites, go to all video, and take uh, just a clip here. I'm going to highlight it. And then if I use the letter Q, it just added it on top of a clip. So we're not going to talk about that just yet. But Q, W, and E on your keyboard are the quick ways to take a clip, hit the key on the keyboard to put it exactly where you want based on playhead, based on the end of the clip, or if you have to overlap something. So that's a quick video, real quick way to get stuff to your timeline just the beginning. Take all your favorites, start making a timeline, guys. And I cannot wait for the next video next week here on Final Cut Fridays.